some some sheep peas. Some bar lambs. Sheep peas and pink pea point there. Getting windier. Because it's such a big barn, I think to myself, why did they want it so tall? You know what I mean? It ain't new. It's a really big barn. That is looking dodgy, that. I could still get wet yet. Earlier I walked right round the river, as far as the eye can see, a huge loop, and West Huntsville's over there, that would have been the same again. But this is satisfactory what I'm doing. I would say it would still take me a minimum of an hour, a minimum because I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this track, see? I don't quite know where it's taking me and I don't know about that cloud there it's going to burst they did say there might be the odd shower there's no shelter I can see some movement though I can see some people. I've got a bit of a heavy head, which is always a sign of thunder. So I'm a bit scared. But I can see some people coming this way. Now, sometimes it is reassuring when you see others. Oh, look at those lambs. Right then, so it's just a short video showing me going down this lovely lane. Um, I think once I get to where those people are, it won't be as far. Then um, they will know as well that it could rain, see? And that big cloud up there is going to pass straight over my head. Oh, look at these barn arms. Hello. Hello, baby. Oh, look at you. Aren't you beautiful, baby? They've got their car not far away. Those people got their car. Now this is a feature of some, so all these ditches you see. These rings they're called. You have to have them otherwise everything would flood. There's money being given to help with flood defence. 
sponsors. So maybe they've been given money. Now they're, where are they going? See, there are so many walks that you can do if you know where you're going. You can cut across fields if you know the area. You can see why they had trouble at the back of Sedgemoor. I know it was the Western Zoyland, but it was similar with these ditches and bog. It was similar. I haven't got a clue. This could be shaky, jumpy, noisy. I'm doing it for posterity. I'm taking a long time as well. But I do know I've still got other tracks to explore. And I do know I will try to do them as well. Cummy's just getting further away back there now. The Quantock Hills are great. You couldn't see them last week. Right, now hold on. I've just seen a sign. What's it doing right over there? Let me just go and see that sign a minute. I don't want to walk into a bog, but uh, I don't want to miss anything either. There's a sign over here. Of course, you could get cows out here, so even though you've got this track, you could find you, it's covered in cows again. There's nothing safe. Tides rising as well. I think this is going to be a big problem for Somerset. All right, let's just see what the stone says. Wetland habitat. Paul Ham's wetland habitat. The, ri the river park crossing. If you follow the road to the riverbank, you will reach a causeway running under the mud between the Hams and Cabbage. The village on the west bank. The causeway can rarely be seen. It runs across a ridge of limestone. It is believed the crossing was known in Roman times and it lies on the route of a Saxon hare path, a military road. I thought I heard a bloody cow then. Oh, it's a gate. The ford was later replaced by a ferry which was in operation from at least the 13th century. In the summit could be 15th century, the ferry was regarded as part of the King's Highway. Both passengers and cattle were carried in the 16th and 17th centuries. In 1655, an inn was built on the Ham's Bank called the White House Inn, from which the road is named. The owner was part owner of the ferry and traded on the Paulet Bank from 1655 to 1877. The causeway hasn't been used since 1920 and hasn't been seen since 1992 except at exceptionally low tide. Okay, I'll just turn that off for a minute. So I'm here, this is the wetlands. This is Paul at Ham's wetland site pretty wet up there as well and there's something about causeway that, that you can see. I'll have to investigate <coughs> more later on. Over and out for a minute.